One of my favorite resources for print-on-demand is Creative Fabrica. I highly recommend them. However, one of the hot topics that I get from time to time is commercial use and print-on-demand use and how do the licenses work. So in this video, I'm going to break it down using a couple real-life examples to help clear up the muddied waters of commercial and print-on-demand licenses. Let's jump in. Okay, if you've never heard of Creative Fabrica before, today's your lucky day. They've got a bazillion fonts and graphics, tons of crafting works. They've even got tools like Font Cloud and Shape Cloud, and they have a subscription service, and I highly recommend checking that out. I'll put a link to the subscription in the video below, and I do want to point out it is an affiliate link, so if you were to click on the link and purchase something, I would receive a small commission. Okay, so let's take a look at a bundle here just as an example. I'm going to scroll on down here to trending and I'm going to see here there's 35 dog and 10 cat breed bundle. Let's pop that open and we can see here for $5 I can get this bundle that's got all these cute little doggies on here and the list goes on and on. And then they threw 10 cats in here at the end as well and there's a few text designs. This is an SVG, DXF, PNG, and JPEG bundle and you get all of this for $5. Now it comes with lifetime license for personal and commercial use. So let's get the personal stuff out of the way. A personal use license is just you using it for maybe school or you're just using it for your own devices. You're gonna make a poster for your bedroom and you're not selling it, you're just making it for yourself. So we're gonna throw that away from this video because that's just personal use. For commercial use, that means that you're gonna take these designs and somehow make money on it. However, if you buy this for $5, you need to substantially change these designs. You can't just upload them all onto Redbubble and call it a day. You need to somehow modify them. So here's an example of how you can modify these designs. So here's an example of how you can change the design. I've just imported the Bulldog design and I'm going to add in uh, English flag in the background. And I'm going to change the design a little bit here. And I've also added color into the Bulldog as well. So you can see here the original design had no fill on it. And I've simply filled it in now with white. So now it sits over top of the flag. I'm now going to remove the word Bulldog. So using my eraser tool, I'm going to go in and scratch out this word bulldog. That's part of the design, so I'm eliminating that. And I'm going to add in my own text. I'm going to put a quick background here just so you can see it a bit easier. So imagine now, for example, a purple t-shirt. That would be my shirt. I've got a British flag in the background, the dogs, and then I've got hooligan. So I've added enough substantial things to this design that the original Creative Fabrica asset is simply that, it's an asset. It's not the design itself. Now, if you don't have Photoshop or Affinity Photo or any high-end graphic software and you'd still like to purchase this, that's okay. Check out right here, it says need full POD license. I'm gonna click on that and we can see here for an extra dollar fifty. so this is $6.50 now, you can order a full POD license. It's a one-time payment and you can use the file on print on demand sites for as long as you like. And it means that you do not need to change it. So it says here, you can take the assets and with no or minimal modifications, create items you can sell on print on demand sites like Redbubble, Amazon Merch, Teespring, and so on. There are no limitations to the POD sites. Now I would like to sound the warning bell and point out one very important pitfall you may run into. It says here, the full POD license is especially created for print on demand users and you can go to sites like Redbubble. However, I want to point out, if you purchase this license, and 100 other people purchased this license. So now 100 people have uploaded the Corgi and the Chihuahua and the Bull Terrier and all of the designs on Redbubble are the exact same. That could be a problem. Somebody could initiate a copyright strike on Redbubble and Redbubble wouldn't necessarily know or care that everybody has legitimately purchased this license. So all I would suggest is if you've purchased the license and you wind up getting a strike someday on Redbubble, just make sure you've got access to this license. Now you would have this license because when you sign into Creative Fabrica, you would have under the login, when you have your own profile, you can actually see your downloads. And there comes with an actual license key when you purchase something, so that's really good. You can just justify it to Redbubble if you were to run into that. So I'm not saying it's a deal breaker, you just wanna be careful with that. I would always recommend that you go in and you try to modify designs whenever possible because that way you're creating a unique piece of art that is standalone. No one can ever come out of the fog and say to you, hey, you're ripping off my design because you've created one using different assets and modifying them and being an artist. 
So quick summary, if you see POD license, that means you do not have to modify the design. You can simply upload it and use it as is. Everything else means it's basic. So it says here on Creative Fabrica, all products automatically fall under the basic POD license. Basic POD license is not just upload it and be done with it. That's the full POD license. So basic POD license means you have to modify. Full POD license means you don't have to modify. Hopefully that made it a little bit simpler, and I wish you much success in your print-on-demand journey. As always, I welcome your questions, your comments. Again, I highly recommend signing up for a subscription, because if you do that, everything is included. You can see here under my subscription, I've got commercial and full POD license allowed. Highly recommend. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. And here's another video on how you can supercharge your print-on-demand journey.